Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Kalau pun saya sahut. Merry Christmas. Since you give me little time for little preach. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 36. This is the secret. 
my son, give me thy life. Okay? So, hindi ko na po patatagalin. Because you give me only a little time, I will give you also a little bit. So that our timing will be exactly nine years. Glorifying our uh, title uh, for tonight is Glorifying God with our best, uh, best gifts for giving. <laughs> There are at least three gifts which all us tonight can bring to Him. Okay? There are three, at least three points, or at least three gifts which we can bring to Him tonight, all of us. Number one is we can give Him the best of our time. Our time. We can give Him the best of our time. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1 to 6. What is mentioned? It mentioned here, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1 to 6. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years grow nigh, Without just saying, I have no pleasure in them. Verse 2, When the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened. Ano ibig sabihin nito? What do you mean by this? We are already dimming eyes. Okay? Nor the clouds in the rain after the rain. We will read this one and then uh, we will explain why this one we read. Uh, in this uh, point, we can give him the best of our time. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, in the strong men shall bow themselves. Ibig sabihin, kubana. Medyo mainitan na. And the drivers cease because they are few. Yung ngipin, bungal na. Tint is not the... Original. <laughs> in those that look, uh, in those that look out of the windows, be darkened. Uh, feeling I in the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, hearing, then he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. Yeah. This is the sign of aging. Uh, in all the daughters of the music shall be loved also when they shall be afraid that which is high and fear shall be in the high, high in the way in the almond tree shall flourish in the grasshopper shall be a burden in the desire shall fail because man going to his long home in the mourners go out the streets uh, what do you mean by this? in verse 1 it mentioned here remember now thy Creator in the days of your um, of thy youth. youth. So meaning we have to what? It, uh, uh, the time here uh, the time here mentioning is that when uh, our uh, what is this this uh, freshness of our body or meaning uh, our prime this uh, our prime phase. When we are strong, we have to uh, give time to serve God. We have to give time power, time to God to serve, to serve the scriptures. As this, uh, as we go back to our text in Matthew chapter one, Matthew, Matthew chapter two, verse one to two. This. Uh, <coughs> Uh, we will read this one. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King the King, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born of the Jews, uh, King of the Jews? For we have seen his son in the east in our town to worship him. So, meaning, this wise men give what? Time to, to search 
or to seek our King or our Lord Jesus Christ. And they give time also to study the Word of God, what the prophet says. So, in their uh, give time to search and to seek the Lord, to worship Him. As an illustration, in Genesis chapter 22 verse 3, this Abraham, uh, when, uh, better to read this one, Genesis chapter 22 verse 22 3 and, I, and Abraham what? Rose up. up early in the morning and sat at his house and took two of his young men with him in Isaac his son and cleaned the wood for the burnt Burn. offering and rose up and went into the place to which God had told him so meaning he rose up early to what? To worship the Lord. Because they will go afar off. Uh, this one. If you read verse 1 and 2, uh, there's a instruction of God to Abraham. So, when he heard that one, Abraham rose up early. So, meaning, he gave time to what? A head of time to worship the Lord. So, meaning, in our application, we have to give our best time also. Sure, and this one, by attending church services. Sa akin. Because sometimes, time may come, we have to change our attitude. Bible studies, we have to attend ahead of time. And with our freshness or strength, uh, we have to give time to what? So rest for the night to give time to worship the Lord with our strength. Hindi tayo inaantok. We are not sleeping without worshiping the Lord. Sana nakuha niya. Dahil pupunta na tayo sa Kenyans, you got this point? Akin ng brothers. Number two. We can give him the best of our what? Second thing. Talents. Everyone of us has a talent whether we admit it or not. We have a God-given talent. Because in Romans chapter 12, verse 6 to 8. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 6 to 8. It mentioned here, Giving the gifts or talents, differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, meaning prophecy means what? Preaching. Okay. Let us prophecy according to the proportion of faith. A prophecy means preaching, huh? or ministry that is what? Serving or helping. Let us wait on our ministry, or he that teacheth, so meaning teaching, teaching, on teaching, or he that exhorted, on exhortation, and he that giveth, that is giving, let them do it with simplicity, he that ruleth, or leading, with diligence, he that showeth mercy, with cheerfulness, mercy is kindness, so all these is what talents so what we uh, what we have to do with our talents we have to uh, we have to use them but this one we have to what to surrender first to to the lord our talents should be surrendered first to the lord so that god will use it 
mightily for his glory. For his glory. <coughs> In uh, Matthew chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, uh, back to our text, we read this. When they had heard, uh, when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. So, meaning, these wise men used their talents to seek or to show the Lord. Jesus Christ. Uh, in, uh, as illustration, in Matthew chapter 25, this is the parable of the talents. Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 29. 25. 14 to 29. Mahaba ba ito? Ikuwento ko na lang. Basahin Yung unang, uh, uh, the first uh, 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 this? the first servants, how many talents uh, God, uh, this master give to him? Five. Five. Then the second one is two. And then the third one is one. And then what happened? The five, the, the, the servants who uh, uh, get the five talents, who receive five talents, what he do? He invested and then get another five. And then the second one, same. He get an, uh, another two. But the third one, uh, which received one talent, what he do? He keep it. In, he dig in the ground. So when the master comes, uh, this, uh, the first two servants, which uh, use their talents. Uh, what what combination uh, got uh, the the, uh, the master key? Okay. What? Some good. Faithful servants. Some good and faithful servants. servants. Why? Because they use their talents. But the other, the last one, he didn't use in the game. And then what uh, the master says to him? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yung, yung sa kanya ay at sa So meaning, so meaning, this is the application. Meaning, if you are not using your talents, God will take this from you and give you to use for His glory. Amen. So, there is no blessing if you keep your talents. So, if you use your talents, there is a blessing because this, uh, uh, the, the, the servants who got talents, five and two talents, they use it. They use it. So, meaning, if you keep your talents or not using your talents, then God will take it, this one, and then give to another to use for his glory. So, no blessings for you. The other one who is using, there is a blessing. Okay? So, you got this point. So, no need for that explanation. And number three in last, the first one is, we can give him the best of our time. And then the second one is, the best of our talents. And the third one is, treasures. Of course, treasure team, treasures. In Matthew chapter 2, verse 11, as we read uh, this for our text, I will read it again. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and milk. So, our Lord, they give their treasures to our Lord Jesus Christ. As an illustration, in Mark chapter 14, verse 3, 
Mark chapter 14, verse 3. <clears throat> this is the story of Mary, who was, uh, who has a, what? An alabaster box. I will read it to you. And being in, Beth in Bethany, in the house of Simon the Lever, as he sat at me, there came, uh, this is the Lord Jesus Christ, he sat at me, as he sat at me, there came a woman. Who is this woman in the other, uh, other, other text? This is Mary. Mary, the sister of Martha and Lazarus. There came a woman in heaven and can an alabaster box of ointment of expired with very treasures. And she break the box and part, part it on his head. Uh, Mary was holding in, his, uh, holding in her hands an alabaster box which contained very precious or expensive delicately perfume ointment but in the surprise in that uh, moment he what i see what she break it correct it is mentioned that she break it correct she break the box and then what happened and part in its content over the head head and uh, if you read the in john uh, the account in john uh, here is the only mention head but in other accounts in John, and feet, in his feet. Over the head and feet of our Lord Jesus and anointed him. Uh, I read some, uh, 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 some passage here. Uh, in those days, every, every young woman who is not married would prepare a box of precious perfume uh, in that in those days kapatawan uh, ng brother Daniel this uh, this she would keep until the time until the time came when the man she loved okay when the man she loved uh, like for example brother Samuel is what? 14 Maya <laughs>
It was uh, yes, another. It was counted as the best, and this is what she gave to him. That is what Mary did to our Lord Jesus Christ. She gave her very best treasure to him. Why? Because this one is alabaster, which is that is mentioned here is very precious. It signifies her very best, and indeed her all to him. In our application, if Mary did these things to our Lord Jesus Christ, that she gave the very best for him, then we can do this also. We can do this also. How can we give? By what? Our time in openness. We can give. Okay. I know you are practicing now, Mr. And we need to do so. We have to break also our pocket in order to give and to glorify our God. In conclusion, in 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 24, David said, Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord that cost me nothing. <coughs> because David is called what? The man of the God's own heart. Because he gave persistence. Uh, if you, and that's why in our introduction, if you really give your heart to the Lord, then the three things that uh, that the three uh, mentioned here that we studied, it is not difficult for us to apply in our lives. We have to give our best time, our best time, our best talents, and the best treasures to the Lord because what He is worthy of our best. Because we saw who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Who is He? He is God. He is our Savior. So He is worthy to give our best also to Him. And He is given His best also for us. When? When He gave this one? Until now He is giving. But first, when He gave His life. To run to one and what? Redeem us through his precious blood in the cross of God. Amen. And for our uh, closing, I will call Brother Joseph to simplify this message. <laughs>